procedure for the design of lag rate compensator using root log okay in this step we are going to design, discuss how to design a lag lead compensator using root lockers in the designing of lag lead compensator it is used to employ to improve both the transient and steady state response of the system okay we know that lag compensator will improve the steady state characteristics and lead compensator will improve the transient characteristics okay if we need to improve both the steady state and transient characters of the system we are employing a lag lead compensator and in the designing first we are going to design the lead section and then the lag section the lag compensator the lead compensator will never will not meet the desired performance we need to design a lag lead compensator okay and the first step of the design is determination of dominant pole sd okay we already discussed that the dominant pole sd is find out by using the equation sd is equal to minus eta omega n plus or minus omega n into plus or minus j omega n into root 1 minus eta square okay here it is minus eta omega minus eta omega n plus or minus omega into root eta square minus 1 okay we need to write it in the form of is a complex conjugate so we are considering the equation minus theta omega n plus or minus j omega n into root root 1 minus theta square okay okay from this bracket we are taking a minus 1 common that is become 1 minus theta square root of minus 1 is equal to j so the equation is minus theta omega n plus or minus j omega n into root 1 minus theta square where theta is the damping ratio and omega n is the natural frequency if both theta and omega n are known we can directly plot or directly mark the point sd on the normal graph sheet that is the first step second step is same as that of the lead compensation mark the poles and zeros of the open loop transfer function and the dominant pole sd in the s plane okay let the dominant pole point be p so second step is mark the poles and zeros of the open loop transfer function of the uncompensated system okay mark the poles and zeros and make the dominant pole point be p dominant pole point ne p i tandiya mark here and the third step is find the angle contributed by the lead network and the equation for finding the angle contributed by the lead network is pi is equal to sum of angle contributed by poles of uncompensated system minus sum of angle contributed by zeros of uncompensated system into plus or minus n into 180 normally we taking this n as 1 okay and the symbol be taken as minus where n is an odd integer so that n into 180 is nearest to the difference between angle contributed by the poles and zeros okay the consideration is only let we take n is equal to 1 and the symbol be taken as minus okay as we do in the case of lead compensation next determination of poles and zeros of lead section the poles and zeros of lead section can be find out by draw a line parallel to x axis then measure the angle aop okay aop a line that from the origin that is a point is at o then draw a line ap which is parallel to x axis then measure the angle aop then draw a bisector to this angle aop okay the bisector of this angle is this line c this line c is the bisector this line pc is the bisector of this angle aop then we already measured the angle phi mark the angle phi by 2 from this this line cp is cp reference circuit out in the phi by 2 and the side load in the mark here okay where the point c is on the real axis which line pc as reference draw angles dpc and cpd okay d p c and c p d d such that each equal to 5 by 2 and we got the points b and d like 5 by 2 line at the very end the end points it on b and d the point which is nearer to the origin is taken as 0 
and far from the origin is taken as the pole okay so we got both poles and zeros so transfer function of the lead section so transfer function of the lead section equals s plus 1 by t2 divided by s plus 1 by alpha t2 we already discussed with uh, if it is both lag lead compensator we take lead co lag compensator is s plus 1 by t1 divided by s plus 1 by beta t1 and lead section is s plus 1 by t2 divided by s plus 1 by alpha t2 that's why you are taken as s plus 1 by t2 divided by s plus 1 by alpha t2 this is a lag lead compensator so lead section is lead transfer function of lead section is taken as g2 of s okay next we need to find the open loop gain k the open loop gain k is find out by using the equation k is equal to product of length of vectors from all poles to sd divided by product of length of vectors from all zeros to sd okay then the when we find k k uh, find out ms radikanda the poles aite right, nammal compensator design cheythu kanjittulla poles inim zeros inim kuda endu cheyanam consider cheyanam then the open loop transfer function of the lead compensated system that is g02 let it be g02 of s equals to g2 of s into g of s that is transfer function of the lead compensator into transfer function of the uncompensated system next step we are checking the required specification is satisfied or not so for that we are checking the velocity error constant the velocity that the desired value of velocity error constant may be given in the question and check the velocity error constant satisfied this compensated system. So, the equation for finding velocity error constant is limit s tends to 0 s into g02 of s because we take g02 of s as the co compensated system transfer function. So, kv2 is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into g02 of s. If KV2 satisfies the requirement, then only leads compensation is sufficient. Okay. But if KV2 is less than the desired value, then provide the lag compensation also. Okay. So, lead compensation chedu, itreyan lead compensation. If itreyan mara chedu satisfy chedu nila desired value, KV, KV da kitta nila na nengil. Namla endi yana, KV is less than desired value, then provide lag section. Okay. So, in the case of lag section, we need to find the transfer function s plus 1 by t1 divided by s plus 1 by beta t1 okay but next our aim is to find beta we know that in the case of finding beta we have a constant a a is equal to kvd by kvu in the case of lag compensator here the kvd is what is the value of kv given in the question and the value of uncompensated system uncompensated system is that, that value what we find in the last step that is in step number 7 because this is uncompensated system because number compensation apply cheyidittum and satisfy cheyidilla so idu endu thana uncompensated system thana appo idin ee kvu ne ee kv2 ne venam lead compensator consider cheyidittulla kv2 ne aanu nammal endha edu edukonda ratio find out cheyan use cheyan so a is equal to kvd by kv2 and beta is equal to 1.1 to 1.2 into a Okay. Next, zero of the compensator. We know that zero is equal to one, minus one by t. That is equal to 0 0.1 into second pole of g of s. Same as that of lead compensator. You see, so we by comparing this equation, we got the value of t1, and here we got the value of beta. Then the transfer function of the lead section is equal to s plus one by t1 divided by s plus one by beta t1. Okay. Next, transfer function of lag lead compensator. So, here got the lag section and we already got the lead section. The transfer function of lag lead compensator is equal to transfer function of lag compensator into transfer function of lead compensator. That is G1 of S into G2 of S. So, S plus 1 by T1 into S plus 1 by T2 divided by S plus 1 by beta T1 into S plus 1 by beta sorry s plus 1 by alpha t2 that is the transfer function of lag lead compensator next we need to find the tran open loop transfer function of lag lead compensated system okay next the open loop transfer function of the lag lead compensated system g naught of s equals g of s into g c of s g of s into g c of s is the Lag lead compensator, lag lead compensator, lag lead compensator transfer function that is G of S into G C of S. 
Next, for this D naught of us, we check whether the velocity error can't check the velocity error constant of the compensated system. If it is satisfied, then satisfactory, then design is accepted. Otherwise, repeat the design by modifying the location of poles and zeros of the compensated. Okay. So, normally, EG not of us in there. There is a compensated system. Land lead compensator. She is in general. Compensated system. Then, velocity or constant in the H is here. Velocity or constant is satisfied. And again, the design is acceptable. Otherwise, repeat the design by changing the location of poles and zeros of the compensator. Okay. That is the procedure for the designing of lead lead compensator using root lockers.